Hello, everybody. Right, I've got a brilliant question from Matt now regarding a comment I made yesterday on um, that chap's level three installation, which was really good. And I did miss the FP200 made, but really good install. But I made a comment on 521.10.202. And this is a fundamental problem that we're getting in schools and colleges at the moment, whereby they're not implementing this reg in the actual base, which I think is something that needs to change. So the question from Matt um, came up this morning, right? And it was, it was this. Um, Matt basically mentioned the reg, but then he said, um, let's have a little look. So Matt said, hi mate, looking at your comment on a post regarding the lad who put a pick for his assessment workup, you said it's not compliant due to plastic, plastic clips on the conduit, 521.10.202. He's put, I read that as only needing metal clips if it's, if it's across an accessory or egress route that may hinder evacuation. So that was before Amendment 2, okay? So what I'm going to show you now is the updated amendment here. So let's have a little look at the reg then and see that it no longer specifies um, fire escapes or exit routes. It says the way wiring system. So the key fundamental change has been there wiring systems that means everywhere in the installation and it doesn't matter if it's in a cupboard on the skirting going behind something it just means the whole wiring system the installation could change as time changes so for example if the trunking for example is going behind some cupboards those cupboards in the future might move but the trunking might stay therefore we've got to protect them so wiring systems should be supported so that they will not be liable to premature collapse uh, in the event of a fire, wiring systems hanging across access or egress routes may hinder evacuation and firefighting activities. So that's in note one, right? Um, but it doesn't specify in the reg, okay, that it's just across evacuation routes. Cables installed in steel or uh, in steel cable containment systems are deemed to meet the requirements, right? So that's that one. So let's have a look at note three now. Uh, this regulation precludes, for example, the use of non metallic clips. Or cable ties as the sole means of support where the cables are clipped direct to exposed surfaces or suspended under cable tray. And the use of non-metallic cable trunking as the sole means of support of the cables therein. So what this reg is interpreted into is that mentioning access or egress routes for firefighters, but the actual reg is mentioning wiring systems. So it doesn't mean that we're going to put these fire clips in access or egress routes. It means we're going to put them along the whole system, okay? So I hope that's answered the question, and I hope it's cleared up. And Matt, I thought that was an excellent question, by the way. Thank you for reaching out. I do appreciate it, and I think that's to the benefit of everybody. Good use of note one there um, and how it can be interpreted. Um, and I hope that I've cleared up the what the actual reg means there as the way it was written uh, and the way it was meant to come across. And I hope that question's benefited everyone. Well done, mate. Fantastic. And thank you for the engagement.